So one of the most important aspects of a good cavalry horse is being able to shoot off of or around that mount. How did the US military actually train their horses to get used to fire? Well, this week on the 11th OVC, we're going to dive into Poinsett's manual and talk and see exactly how they train their horses. So as we said in the intro, being able to have a horse that actually can be fired off of or fired around to dismount and shoot off its back is pretty important to be able to do. Uh, there's a lot of reenactments out there that have uh, horses that are uh, crazy and, and they, they, they don't uh, do well with gunfire. They do all right, but not well. Uh, personally, my experience with training horses have been uh, uh, either extreme on either end. My very first horse I actually trained, you know, I did it what I thought was the best way and I just desensitized it to what I think desensitization is, uh, and I just shot a whole bunch off its back in between its ears. Uh, obviously, as we'll see here in a little bit, that's not what you do. Uh, my horse got worse and worse and worse, and even today, he's, he's manageable on the battlefield, but even today, he's, he's not what he should be, and unfortunately, I think I ruined him in that aspect. Uh, what, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to dive into Poinsett's manual and see exactly what it says, and then take a look and see if it works. This horse that we have today has never been around gunfire. Uh, this mare, actually, we've had, uh, have not spent a whole lot of time with her. She was ridden a lot uh, about a year ago. Uh, she's enjoyed some uh, fat, lazy time in the, uh, in the field here for the past little bit. Uh, and we haven't uh, done anything regarding cavalry training with her at all. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this video and see exactly how she responds to gunfire using the cavalry way of doing it. So specifically in point set, there's a section called the manner of accustomizing your horse to firing and military noises. It states the following. A few trained horses accustomed to the firing are mounted with the young horses towards the end of the lesson. The troopers who mount the former separate themselves a few paces from the others and fire pistols while the others continue to march on the track. The troopers taking care and quiet and caress those who are excited or frightened. This method is continued during some days and the troopers approaching nearer and nearer and finally firing inside the square. They fire afterwards, then returning to the quarters at the first in the rear of the column, then near the center and at last at the head, facing it a distance of a few paces. There will be an interval between the shots at first and they will be fired more frequently in proportion as the horses become more calm, taking care not to burn them with the grains of powder. When the young horses are somewhat accustomed to the noise of arms, the troopers who ride them having loaded their pistols between lessons fire one after another at a signal from the instructor. This lesson should be given with care, the firing being stopped when the horses become excited and after they have become more calm, the shots are repeated with shorter intervals. The carbines are afterwards used. Should there be any horses so restive as to throw the others habitually into disorder, they must be sent back to the stable. They are then taken out separately every morning and evening to accustom them to the noise of arms. For this purpose, they are led to the riding ground where pistols are fired while they are caressed and a few oats are given to them. The shots are fired first from distance and then approach gradually. After the horses become accustomed to them, they are joined to the others to receive the same lessons when mounted. When the horses are no longer frightened at the successive carbine or pistol shots, they are formed at the end of the riding ground. They are marched gently towards some dismounted men placed at the other end who fire together several times in succession. When the horses are within 50 paces, the firing ceases, and they are marched on until they come to the men, where they are halted and caressed. An officer is always present at this lesson to see that it is given properly without any disorder. The young horses are likewise accustomed to the manual of arms and the waving of standards, colors, and the flags of lances, to the noises of drums, and finally to all military noises. This is always done at the end of the lessons, and the same progression being followed, and the same gentle means being used. And that right there is actually how Poinsett specifies on how to get horses used to gunfire. Now one thing that's important to note, at least in my personal or anecdotal experience, is that getting horses used to cannon fire, honestly, is not that big of a deal. So number one, you generally don't have any cannons to get them used to anyways, but number two, when you are used to cannons or around cannons, you're probably next to or in formation uh, in a reenactment or a training or a drill of some sort. And that's what makes the difference. Now let's talk about the key of what makes it 
relatively easy to get horses used to gunfire. The key is getting other older, more experienced and non-spooky horses next to and around the horses that are new or fresh or excitable. This one thing is what it makes the difference between having horses that take forever to get used to gunfire versus horses that get used to it relatively easy. Uh, again, in my own personal experience, uh, horses that uh, we, we get used to or we get around other old or other experienced horses that don't freak out around gunfire, uh, when we put them in the middle of those horses and then shoot, uh, after it doesn't take too much and our horses are pretty pretty used to being shot off of. Uh, that's the key. If you don't have other horses that, that you know are, are easy or that don't get spooked around gunfire, this may be a little bit more difficult uh, because training by yourself definitely is a bit more difficult because again, like I said, the key to this whole thing is having other horses that are used to being shot off of uh, next to the horses that are new. So now let's put a little bit of Poinsett's instructions into practice and see if this works. So now what you're gonna see us do first is a little bit of a fraction of what Poinsett's is talking about. We're gonna just not mount, we're not gonna saddle, we're just going to be dismounted and get one of our experienced horses next to uh, this new horse and we'll see how that works and we'll progress from there. One more time. And what is that, about 10 yards off, or five yards? Probably five. Again. One more time. Okay, he's worse than she is. Mm -hmm. One more time. So that must be the line right there. One more time. I'm gonna go over here one more time. And over by Oki. So that's pretty good. And there it is, the first time that this horse was actually exposed to gunfire uh, using a little bit or a fraction of Poinsett's method. Again, the next series of videos we'll do is, is more on the Poinsett's line or directions with being mounted and doing it uh, off the back of the horse. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to show you just for this quick video today is that when you're trying to gun train a horse, get him used to the sounds of battle, quote, as, as according to Poinsett's puts it, uh, the, one of the easiest things to do is get an old veteran horse that knows what gunfire is and that won't freak out and put your new horse next to them. With that being said, everything generally goes well. Uh, personally, I haven't had any major issues when I've done it this way. Uh, you know, you get to a point, as you saw uh, earlier, you get to a point where you kind of need to stop and there's a line uh, with that horse. Uh, and you know, you gotta end on a good note, definitely. Those of you who do training, you know you have to end on a good note. Uh, and based on this being the only time that this horse has been exposed to gunfire, uh, and the gunfire we did do starting further off, coming close in, and getting re relatively pretty close for the first time, I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, we have more to do, get it, you know, get to the point where we can uh, shoot off her back. Uh, but for the most part, we can shoot off her back, uh, not necessarily over, here, over her ears yet, maybe at a 90 degree angle, maybe toward her rear end, 
wind, uh, but I'm pretty happy with this one. So again, right now, the kind of phase one of getting horses used to gunfire is get them next to a veteran horse. Again, hope you enjoy this quick video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like us on Facebook. And until we see you in the field again, ride hard.